making your sound better. What's up guys, that's called here from W Production and today we're remaking Ray Volpe's out of wall sound. Here it is. All right, we're gonna load up our serum initial patch. For the oscillator array, we're gonna select analog, PWMDS, wavetable position to about 50%. Oscillator B is gonna be analog, basic shapes, and we are selecting the second one. Activate sub bass, direct out, and lower all the volumes of sub bass, noise, level of uh, oscillator array, and oscillator B. Activate the noise and select a kick just a kick sample from your library will do just fine. For the LFO one, we're gonna load up a shape that I made. It's called the shoe LFO, as my friend Spruce suggests. And we're gonna assign this to the sub base and reduce it a little bit just in case. We're gonna turn it up later in case. And all the oscillator and the noise as well. The noise one is going down to about 20%, something like that. Forgot to mention, make the noise a one shot. Now back to the LFO one, we're not gonna use the BPM, but the Hertz, and we're just gonna type 3.9, that seemed to work pretty good while I was making this sound, and uh, activate the filter, it's gonna be on multi, high notch 12, and now on, I would say, just put them around 11 o'clock, and we're gonna play around with the sound as we go to make it. Cool, assign the LFO to the cutoff, Press Shift and Alt and split the LFO, make it nice and wide, about 54%, something like that. And LFO 1 goes to resonance as well. Attach to that, 14, will do just fine. And assign to the frequency as well on negative 30. Now we're gonna stick with that for now. Back to the oscillators on A, go to the warp mode and activate the FM, our trustworthy modulator and assign the LFO to that as well, and reduce it to a touch, about 10%, split it, actually more than that, make it 20%, and have the work mode to about 11 o'clock. Work mode on oscillator B is gonna be sync, that as well follows pretty much what this is doing, all it's syncing to it, so we're just gonna split the LFO like that, and make it pretty much the same. Next thing up, we're gonna go on the basic shapes of the oscillator B and boost the octaves to about three octaves. And the semitones is going up to 12 semitones. Now it should be sounding something like this. Cool. We're gonna activate the filter on the basic shapes as well of the oscillator B. Now for the effects rack, hyper on, touch of distortion, and we're gonna reduce the mix to about 20%. We'll need a compressor, multi band on, gain up to 6%. Touch a reverb. The low cut on the reverb is going to be about 30%, as well as the high cut. Reduce the mix a little, and should be sounding something like this now. Cool. So bear with me for a second. I'm going to play with the sound and make it sound as similar as possible. So what I did there, I slightly increased the cutoff, slightly increased the resonance and uh, the frequency range, and I activated the filter for the noise as well, because I forgot before. And that's pretty much it, as far as the sound is concerned. You're gonna get this template in the download link, so don't forget to check that out. And the preset is gonna be in, and the couple of samples I made for this track, and uh, what else? Yeah, this, this little background thingy that's very useful for, for drops. Very simple, very basic. And uh, the master rack, it's just a simple compressor, as you can see, and my trustworthy mastering VST pumper by W Production. Cool, that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to W Production, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace!